Welcome to my channel, Living Your Best Life, and I am Cindy Smaha. And today we are going to be talking about hooded eyes. And I'll be talking about my technique and game changer to get this look. And before we get into the video, please be sure to subscribe to my channel and click that little bell right next to it so you'll be notified of all my future uploads. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment. I would so love to hear from you. Okay, so now let's get into the video. So for today's video, I am going to show you my technique for hooded eyes. And so what is hooded eyes? So let me show you. Okay, I'll go in a little closer here. And if you can see, I've got a flap from the top lid or whatever this thing is. If you guys know what this is, leave that in the comments. I have no idea, but it covers your top lid. Now mine isn't too bad, but I do have wrinkles and it is, it does cover it and it's annoying. It really is annoying. It's annoying because you can see the wrinkles I have here. So it makes it really difficult to make or use liquid liner and make a really gorgeous wing. But I am going to show you how you can make a really pretty wing and we're going to use it with eyeshadow. Uh, I've primed my face and I've also primed and set my lids with um, some eyeshadow, some lighter eyeshadow. That's how I like to do it. Now, please make sure that you use a good primer on your lids because that will help. One, it'll help less creasing and it'll also help with the eyeshadow to stick to your eyes. So I am going to be using my Tarte palette that I got in my October BoxyCharm. If you saw my October BoxyCharm video, um, I showed you this and I have been using this nonstop because it is so gorgeous. I love it, I love it, I love it. And of course it matches my top today. So I am going to mix some shades in here and I'm going to mix Charming, which is the darkest um, color in the palette and enchanting which is the lightest one and I'm going to put that in my fake crease now with hooded eyes since you can't see that crease you want to use it you want to create an artificial or fake crease and the easiest way I can tell you how to do it is with an eyelash curler. It can be your guide. So I'm gonna mix those shades up. All right. And I'm going to put this not in the crease, but just slightly above it, right there. And I'm going to concentrate that color right in that crease, our artificial crease area. And I'm gonna use a little bit more. Okay, so there we go. I don't wanna use a lot. That's looking good. Now you notice I'm not gonna go into the, closer into the inner part here. Okay, now you see there, I've created an artificial crease. And when you look at my eye, you can see that color. And that's what we want. We want to be able to see that color when you've closed your eyes. Or not closed your eyes, when you've relaxed your eyes. Okay, get back into that lighter shade, that enchanting. And I'm going to go over that to soften it up, create an eyeshadow look for hooded eyes. You want to make sure that you bring the color up higher so that up higher on your whatever this thing is called upper lid as you can see so that when your eyes are relaxed you can see it and i like to bring it oh not 
to the brow where the brows are but have a little bit there and again less is best it's easier to build up than it is to take off so just bring it up like that there we go mm. that's nice let me check it in my close-up mirror oh that looks good all right let's do the other eye now you see how it started that we blended it out where it's dark in that fake crease and then we blended it out with a lighter color so that it goes up and now when you look at my eyes you see the darker faker crease and that's what you focus on what we're going to do next is is that we are going to again blend shades and start that outer part because we want to make the eyes go up my eyes have a um, droop a little bit here so they downturned a little bit i have big eyes but they downturn just slightly and so i want to create that lift and so we're going to put some darkness on the outside but we're going to blend it out because i want more of a softer look so we're going to use this darker shade and we're going to put it in with this so we're going to use charming again and then we're going to use delight uh oh we're going to use delight so charming again and then delight so here we go and again we it's easier to do building up than it is to take off so so we're going to keep building as you can see now the delight shade has a little bit of shimmer to it so which i think is pretty you might not want to put shimmer on your lids um, shimmer does have a tendency to uh, emphasize wrinkles and textures so that's entirely up to you whether you want to put shimmer on your lids but I really like it now you see where I've concentrated it mostly right here we're gonna blend that out because what I want is not some stark you know colors and that on the outside but I want to have a little emphasis there, right there. So let me do the other eye. I'm going to use that same brush that we use to blend it out. But I want to blend out the outside because I don't want to lose that darker color by using a really light shade to blend it. So I'm going to use this one here in the palette, Element, and just dab it just a little bit. And I'm going to blend it out just a little bit. I want to blend it out so it's not quite so dark brown. I like to blend it out on the edges so it's softer and gives a softer look. Ooh, and that's looking pretty. Ooh, 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 ooh. Mm. So you can see how that softened it up a little bit. I think I'm going to soften this side up a little bit more. That's looking good. So now, time for the shimmer. And I love shimmer. I can't help it. I love to glow. So I want to take this lightest shimmer shade in the palette, and it's called Brilliant. Wow, what a nice name for a shade. Brilliant. All right, and I like to use my finger. Um, usually shimmer shades show up better with your finger. If it doesn't, then use like a smaller, like a packer brush, and I may use this um that looks like this sorry 
that looks like this. It's smaller, it's a little firmer, but this is really nice to put on um, using a brush. You want to make sure that you put a little setting spray on it to make it a little bit, not dripping, but a little bit so that it'll take that shimmer. But I am going to try using it with my finger. doesn't seem to be playing well here with just my finger. So let me go get some setting spray. Okay, I've got my Stay All Night Micro Fine Setting Spray from e.l.f. I love e.l.f. products. They're affordable and they're so high quality. So I am going to just put a little bit on my brush and I always like to just take a little bit of that off. So now let's see if this bad boy goes on a little bit easier. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Or better, I should say. Oh yeah. Ooh, that's nice. If you can see that shimmer. Ooh, baby, baby. I'm liking it. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Ooh, 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 ooh. Pretty, 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 pretty. And see where we've got that artificial crease? I'm going to bring it right up in there. And uh, right to there. So let's get it on the other side. Oh, yeah, that's coming through really super nice. Very, very nice. And bring it up into that artificial crease. Okay, ooh, that's looking so pretty. And bringing it down. Lovely. All right. Looking good. I'm looking good. Now, what I want to do for the brow bone is I'm going to use this brush and notice it's skinnier but a little bit bigger and it's also got really tough bristles and I'm just going to use the end and go up here under the brow bone sort of sculpt that out a little bit see how that went and do the other side. Lovely. Right on that, right underneath that eyebrow. Okay. That looks good. Now I'm also going to go up underneath. Okay. Now I have a lovely brush. Let me find it. This one. Yeah. Look at that. That is nice. See how that is? I love angled brushes. For doing it close to the lash line and so what I'm going to do is is I'm going to use this element color right there and right on the top and I'm going to put that right underneath right next to those eyelashes right on the bottom okay so you see how that went right there lovely 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 okay so i want to tap off a little bit and i want to sort of soften that up some bring it up a little bit okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to take that darker shade and put it right on the ends and it's what it's going to do is bring those eyes up so me do that just a little bit bring it up into what we've done on the ends on the outer part of the eyes sort of make it blend together okay so you see how that darker shade is at the end all right Ooh, that looks nice and again, see how that bring 
brings it up here. Let me put a little bit more. I want to make sure that marries together. Okay. Ooh, it's looking nice. So now the next step is eyelash curler. So we're going to use the curler again. What I like to do is sort of clean it off a little bit because it's had that darkness on the top and I don't want the darker shade on the top and I don't want it to get into my um, shimmer. And so we are going to put it right next to the lash line. Pump, 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 pump. I like to also have it up a little bit because my lashes have a tendency to turn down. There we go. This also from Tarte, it's called a quick stick. And I got these when uh, the Tarte website had these, like, I think they were like $10. This is like awesome. I think these are like 29 and it has, it's dual ended. So it's got this lovely shimmer shade on one end. And then it has a darker like eyeliner on the other end and so I'm going to use the eyeliner I don't know if this is going to be dark enough but we will see so I'm going to put it right up against that lash line okay on the top lid and just bring it so it's thin right in here because again we want to emphasize it up so we're going to have a thinner line here and then as it goes up it's going to be thicker so there we go put it just on the end oh, right next to the lash line wonderful I want to build it up on the end because what I'm going to do on the outside is blend it in so I'm going to get another angled brush this is smaller and this is what I'm going to do to use to blend it. So let's go ahead and do that. All right. So now I've got a close up mirror and I'm going to blend that in. And what that's going to do is it's going to soften that color up that's close to the lash line. And what it's also going to do is I have like some bald spots in my eyelashes and it's going to cover that up as well. So that's super nice. And so we're going to build it up and build it up even more because I'm going to use that darker shade in a palette in a minute and build it up even more. Now we are ready for that darker shade in the palette. And again, that's charming right here. And we're going to build it up on the outside. Now this is where the, got a little too thick there. This is where the eyes are going to come up a little higher, but this is also where we're going to do that wing. And because I have all the wrinkles and stuff there, I can't use liquid, not like this anyway and get a really nice wing. But what it's going to do is it's going to diffuse it out. And so that way it's not going to emphasize the wrinkles, but it's going to show that really diffused, pretty wing in there. Let me pull it down a little more. Give it more of an angle. And you can see here that I've done a little bit of a wing. I don't want to do a big wing in there because I'm just not a big wing gal. But if you want to, knock yourself out. Okay, I've got the wing where I want it, like that. Looks nice. The first brush, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to soften that up. 
I don't want any real strong, harsh lines, and I want it to just sort of meld into each other like that is doing right there. Ooh, so pretty. Blink, if you've seen my videos and tutorials, I use this every time I put mascara on. This is a primer from Blink Cosmetics, and I'll put a link down below in the description box of all the products I've used. And what this does is that it primes the lashes, but then it also has emollients and I think it has um, castor oil in it and several other things that help the lashes to grow and thicken up. And it really, really does. And so let me do that. Primers on. And I'm going to be using my favorite mascara uh, at the moment. It is Milani's Anti-Gravity. This is so good. And I love it that it's from the drugstore. Mascara is on and see how I could probably stop there, but I do want to put some lashes on. This is where I'm going to show you the game changer in hooded eyes. And it's a product by Cuta Cutter. And I saw this in an influencer's video and her name is Smitha Deepak. And I'm probably butchering this, and I'm so sorry I'm butchering your name. But her tutorials are wonderful, and I'll put a link down below. And I saw this when I was searching for hooded eyes and, and products and things like that. What this is, is that they are little, I don't know how to call them, little stickers, um, that go right on your lid that help to keep, the hoodedness at bay and since i don't have really super hooded eyes the the result isn't super extreme but i know this is going to be helpful for you guys and gals out there that have extreme hooded eyes i've seen this over and over again in other videos and tutorials that it, it helps it out. And I really, really hope you try this. So what it is, is that you've got this little, it says open. And so there's this little protector that's on the outside and you pull one of the stickers and I'll, hopefully you can see it on camera. I don't know if you will or not, but I'm hoping that you will. You just peel it off and You've got these little tweezers that come in with it. And I hope you can see it. Ah, here we go. Yeah, that's probably better right there. Can you see how it's got little, it's like a mesh. And so what you want to do is with the tweezers, you grab a hold of the, the straight part of it. And then there's the curve that's at the top. Then it comes with a little water bottle that you do have to spray it to activate the glue. So just spritz it. There you go. Let it dry. Let it dry just a little bit, not completely. And I'm going to show you on my left eye, which is a lot I'm gonna say not as wrinkled as the other eye. So I wanna show you that I'm going to just place it right on that crease area. I'm gonna hold it down and then press it down. Okay, there we go. Now we're just going to let it dry for just a second or two. And I'm going to press it down with the little tweezers. So I don't know if you can see it, but see how there's much more lid there than the other side. And again, my eyes are not super extreme hooded, but it does give 
me a little bit more lead. My eyes look more open. So let me do the other side. Okay, so there is a little bit of a difference, not as much as here is here. And so this has helped me out a lot. So I don't do this every single day, but when I want to have more of a glam look or when I'm going out or I have an event or things like that, I do want to use these. I do use these and they definitely make a difference. And I hope, and I'll give a link um, down below let me go finish the rest of my face and I'll come back with the finished look. Here is the finished look and I think it turned out really well. I'm really happy with my eyes and I hope this video was helpful for you and I hope you enjoyed it. I sure enjoyed making it for you and leave me a little note in the comments if you are going to try this or you have tried it if it's worked for you i'd love to hear from you so please be sure to come back next week monday at four o'clock where we're going to talk some more beauty have a great week bye bye